What an honor, what a joy to have you join us for our online Tuesday prayers. We don't take it for granted that you take time and you set aside time to join us for our prayers, even as we continue uh, trusting God and uh, just making our request known to God. So Karibuni Sana from wherever you are joining us from, we are glad that you could find time to join us and we pray that the Lord will minister to you even as we have our prayers today. So let us pray let us, and then we'll usher in the worship team and then we'll continue with our prayers in Jesus' name. Everlasting Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we are so grateful this wonderful evening, this wonderful moment, O oh God, that you have granted unto us, Father God, to gather again, that we may continue praying, that we may continue seeking your will, that we may continue committing our hearts to you, Father, that we may continue making our requests known to you, dear Father, that we may continue asking and seeking, my Father, and even praying to you who is faithful, O oh Jehovah, you who keeps your word, O oh my Father, you who is ready to answer our prayers, to hear our prayers, O oh God, Father, we come to you. The Bible says to you who hears prayer, to you all men will come. And so, Lord, we come to you who hears prayer. We pray to you who hears prayer. Father, we call on you who hears prayer, dear Father, that you would answer us, my God, that you would strengthen us today, dear Father, and that you would encourage us, O oh God, through the scriptures, my Father, through the worship and through the ministry of today. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray and we believe. Amen and amen. Worship to you. Yesu astahili heshima na utukufu Ah Eh Yesu astahili heshima na Yes, so I'm 
chequea que se va ah, 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 eh, Jesús hasta Hili que Shima Congregation say, ah, 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 If you believe it, come on, say, when you have no one to tell the Lord all you can say is ah hallelujah Amen. thank you so much worship team for that wonderful moment of just uh, allowing us to worship God and love God in song in the lifting of our hands we don't uh, take it for granted thank you so much so today we continue looking at uh, spiritual blessings in Christ that is what we will be looking at uh, throughout this week even in our devotions in the morning we are looking at the spiritual blessings in Christ and we are looking at the things that Christ did for us as believers. That when Christ uh, died and, uh, and, and was buried, resurrected, and now he's seated at the right hand of the Father, there are blessings that are ours by virtue of being connected to Christ. And so we are going to look at uh, some of, a part of that blessing. So allow me to read Ephesians chapter number three from verse 20 to 21. This is what it says. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine according to his power that is at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever. Amen. ESV says, Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all that we ask or think according to the power at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations, throughout all generations forever and ever. Amen. So what is the blessing here? What, what blessing is ours by virtue of being connected to Christ? By us having come into fellowship with Jesus, what blessing is ours in that portion of scripture? I think what Paul is trying to say is that there is abundance in Christ. There is abundance in Christ. And today we want to pray that God will give us the abundance, the abundance that is in Christ for us, that God will give us that abundance. Remember, Paul has been making a prayer from verse number 14, praying for the Christians and praying for the believers and praying for things in the spirit that will happen to them, praying that they will be strengthened in the spirit, praying that uh, they will have the indwelling Christ, praying that they will know that they will have the knowledge of the love of God, this love that, uh, that surpasses understanding, this love that is, that is high and wide and low, and, and praying that they will come to a knowledge of the fullness of God. Paul is praying and he's saying, now to him who is able, to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all we ask. When you consider the things that Paul is praying for the believers from verse 14. There are things that are beyond us. There are things that are even beyond our ability to grasp or even to comprehend. They, they are beyond our finite minds, you know, to capture or even to get. And so Paul is saying these things that appear to be so far-fetched, these things that appear to be so huge, these things that appear to be, to be so, so mighty and so full of grandeur, these things now to him, who is able to do far more abundantly. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more. When you talk about um, be strengthened with power in the spirit, I mean, that one is only God who can do. No one else can achieve that. 
No one else can strengthen us from within. When he talks about that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, no one else can bring that to pass apart from God. When he talks about that you may have the strength to comprehend the breadth, the length, the height, and even the depth of God's love, and to know this love that surpasses knowledge, who can bring this to pass apart from our God? When he talks about being filled with the fullness of God, friends, these are things that, that appear so huge and so far-fetched and, and so, you know, they, they appear to be far away from us. And so Paul is saying only these things, only God can bring these things to pass. When he talks about the fullness of God, who can fill us with the fullness of God if it is not God himself? I cannot do it by my own. No one can do it for us apart from God. So Paul is saying now to him who is able to do far more abundantly. What is that that you think? What is that that you imagine? You know, has God done something for you? He's able to do far beyond. Are you imagining something that God, you know, might do? God is able to do far beyond. Has God promised to do something? He's able to do far beyond. What are you imagining about your life? What are you imagining about your family? What are you imagining about your career? What are you thinking about your life? Paul is telling us now to him who is able to do far more abundantly, far more abundantly. And I want us to come and just um, surrender ourselves before God and ask God to help us to have that confidence in him that if he says he is able to do far more abundantly, we will take him at his word, we will believe it and we will pray it and we will trust him to bring his word to pass that will not limit ourselves, will not limit ourselves to what we think or to what we know or to what we feel or to what we see. No, we will ask. We will ask according to the power that God has deposited in us. And that power is all great. So let us pray together and let us believe God to help us to do even beyond that which you can ask, think, even imagine in Jesus' name. Everlasting Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we give you praise. We give you glory today. We give you honor. There is no other God who is like you. We want to lift up your name this evening, Jehovah. We want to declare that you are God alone, that you are mighty, that you are powerful, that you are seated on the throne, my Father, that all power belongs to you, all authority belongs to you. In heaven, on earth, and under the earth, my Father, all the might is you are so God. Dominion belongs to you, Jehovah, Father, King of all glory. There is nothing that you do not have. You are God who owns everything, my Father. What we see, what you don't see belongs to you, King of all glory. And so, Lord, with that understanding, we come before you in praise, in adoration, in thanksgiving, my Father, even to, Lord, to, 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 to celebrate and to rejoice with Paul, my Father, who recognizes that you alone are able to do super abundantly. You are able to do immeasurably more. You are able to do far beyond our asking, far beyond our thinking, far beyond our imagining, my Father, that even looking at the prayer, he was praying for the believers, oh God, only you can bring those things to pass my father that the things that we desire oh God oh Lord you're able to be even much more than our desires you are able to do much more than our thinking you are able to do much more than our imagining dear father and so we bring ourselves to you today father forgive us where we have limited you my father where we have limited you in our asking where we have limited you in our trusting where we have limited you in our believing where we have limited you in our reaching forth in faith oh God where we have limited oh Jehovah our prayers to our to what we see my father to what we hear to what oh jehovah god we feel oh lord may you have mercy upon us where we have limited oh jehovah father your capacity in our lives oh jehovah god may you forgive us today and may you help us to rise up oh god to rise up out of doubt and unbelief my father to rise up oh my father out of the reality we know and oh god to believe that there is a god who is beyond our reality there is a god who is above our reality there is a God who is greater than our reality. There is a God who is exalted 
far beyond our reality, dear Father. And so, Lord, this evening, we want to ask of you, Jehovah God. Father, the things that your people are trusting you for, my Father. The doors they are trusting you to open. The prayers they are trusting you to answer, my Father. The cry they are trusting you to hear, O Jehovah Father. God Almighty, we come before you today. And we say that, God, only you are able to do immeasurably more. And so we give you glory, we give you honor. For no one else can achieve that for us, O God. No one can do beyond our asking. No one can do beyond our believing. No one can do beyond our imagining apart from you. In our families, in our nation, in our individual lives, O God, we trust in you today. And we pray that, Lord, may you lift up our faith to believe in your word, that you are able to do far beyond what we can ask, what we can think, and what we can imagine according to the power that works within us, Father. We thank you for this moment of prayer, and we thank you for the testimonies that will arise out of the prayers that we continue to pray to you by faith. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we pray and we believe. Amen and amen. Our Father in heaven, we thank you so much, Lord. We glorify your name. We thank you so much for the spiritual blessings that, Lord, you've given us. We thank you for this Tuesday, that, Lord, we can come, oh, my Lord, into your presence this evening to come and spend time in your presence. I thank you, Lord, even for the prayers that, Lord, we have, we have already started uh, praying, oh, my God. And as we continue to pray, Lord, we pray, oh, my Father, believing in our hearts that, Lord, you have blessed us, that, Lord, we, we, are, we are enjoying these uh, uh, blessings, these spiritual blessings because of what you did on the cross, oh, Lord. And we are confident this, uh, this evening that, oh, Lord, you are with us, that, Lord, you are listening to us, that, Lord, you hear us, and that, Lord, you answer us. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you praise, Lord. Thank you for this, for this, for this uh, day. Thank you for this evening, oh, God, that we can spend, oh, Lord, this time in your presence, that we can spend this time, oh, my Father, before you in the name of Jesus. Oh, receive all the praise, Lord. Receive all the glory in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Father, we love you. We worship you, Lord. We exalt your name, O King of Kings. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. As, as, we, as we continue to pray uh, today, I want just to encourage us with a word from the book of Ephesians, chapter 3, verse 7 to 9. And we are looking at the riches that we have in Christ. As we continue to pray we, uh, uh, this session, I just want to, us to take some time to look at the riches that we have in Christ. And I will read from verse 7 to 9 just to encourage us as we continue to pray. The Bible says, By God's grace and mighty power, I have been given the privilege of serving Him by spreading this good news. Though I am the least deserving of all God's people, he graciously gave me the privilege of telling the Gentiles about the endless treasures available to them in Christ. Endless treasures available to them in Christ. I was chosen to explain to everyone the mysterious plan that God, the creator of all things, had kept secret from the beginning. So in this chapter 3, Paul refers knowing Christ as boundless riches. Just knowing Christ is a boundless uh, riches. He says, although I am less than the least of all the Lord's people, this grace was given me to preach to the Gentiles the boundless riches of Christ. And these riches have been revealed in our days. We are, we are so blessed. These riches that, 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 uh, that Paul is talking about have actually been revealed in our days. Because we have Christ, and that's what Paul was talking about. So we are so blessed. In verse 4 he says, In regarding this then, you will be able to understand my insight into the mystery of Christ, which was not made known to people in other generations, as it has now been revealed by the Spirit to God's holy apostles and prophets. So these riches have been revealed to us and these riches have been revealed by the, by the Spirit to God's holy apostles and prophets. We cannot understand true riches without knowing Christ. It is not possible to understand the true riches without knowing Christ. When we think about riches, our minds quickly run into material things, but this is not the case. And therefore our prayer today is that we may know Christ for in Christ are boundless riches, unlimited riches, endless treasures. 
That is what we are, we are, we are going to pray. I know when we talk about riches, most of the time we, we think about uh, what, what we own and so on. But the real riches, the boundless riches, as Paul puts it, is that we may know Christ. That we will know Christ. That we will, we will, will understand that we have been born again, that Christ is our Savior. And that we shall have a deep understanding of who Christ is to us. So that we may love him more. And these, these are the true riches when we understand who Christ is in our lives. And when we have Christ, he will do more than we can think or imagine. I think Paul speaks about this in the same, in the same book. That, 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 that when we pray, Christ is able to provide for us more than what we can actually think or even imagine. But the first condition or the first thing that is required of us is that we may know that we may know Christ. So we pray today that we shall be able to experience these endless treasures in Christ, that we shall not be confused by the visible and miss the true riches. So let us pray, my dear brother and my sister. Our Father in heaven, in the name of Jesus, we thank you so much because knowing you, Lord, is actually knowing these boundless riches. And I want to pray, O oh Lord, we continue to pray this evening, that, Lord, you will help us, O oh my Lord, to understand that we will know you, O oh God, who is our riches, O oh God. I pray for each and every one of us, O oh Lord, that as, as, as we know you, as we walk in your, in your way, O oh Lord, Father, that, Lord, you will bless us because your word says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. And this is my prayer for us today, that, Lord, we will know you so that we may be able to understand these boundless riches. Father, we thank you we bless your name, O oh God, for the, for, for the riches that we have in you. We thank you so much, O oh my God, because these riches are endless. These riches are boundless, O oh God. And how I pray that each and every one of us will be able to experience these riches that, Lord, you have provided for us. The love and the grace, O oh God, that is available for us. The forgiveness of sins that is available for us. That, Lord, we shall not be confused by the things of this world. Lord, I pray for each and every one of us, O oh God. No matter, Lord, what we are going through, I pray in the name of Jesus that, Lord, we will understand that in you, O oh God, we have boundless riches, that we have endless riches in you, O oh God. And I pray that, O oh my Father, this understanding will sink into our hearts, that, Lord, we will understand that, Lord, in you, we have everything, O oh God. How I pray in the name of Jesus that even those times, O oh Lord, maybe we are at a place, O oh my Father, of need. We are at a place, O oh my Father, where some of us, O oh my Lord, we lack even those that we call basic things in our lives. And we are wondering where are these riches that are found in Christ. But I know that, O oh Lord, when we understand you, when we know you, O oh God, we shall be able to experience these endless riches in you. And I pray in the name of Jesus now that, Lord, any need, O oh my Father, that we may have, just as your word says in the book of Philippians 4.19, that my God will supply every need of you as according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. It's the same way that I pray that, O oh Lord, our needs, O oh my Father, the needs that surround us, O oh Lord, are going to be supplied in the name of Jesus. Because in you, O oh my God, there's every kind of supply. Supply for our spiritual need, supply even for our physical needs, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. And therefore, Lord, I ask, O oh my Father, even for the, for the needs that we have, the financial needs that we have in our homes, O oh God, how I pray in the name of Jesus, that, Lord, you'll provide, O oh my Father, the school fees for those children. I pray that, Lord, you'll provide, O oh my Father, the rent, O oh my God, for that family, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that, O oh my God, that any need, O oh my Lord, that is represented, O oh Lord, in this time of prayer, that, Lord, those needs are going to be supplied, O oh my Father, according to your riches in glory, in the name of Jesus. Father, I want to pray, O oh my God, even concerning, O oh my Lord, any, 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 any need, O oh my Father, could be mortgages, O oh my Lord, that we are, we, we are paying, O oh my Lord, and we are stuck somewhere, O oh Father. How I pray in the name of Jesus that you shall provide. Lord, I pray that, O oh my God, you shall lift us up, O oh Lord, from the place of need, O oh God. I know that, Lord, the economy speaks different, O oh my Lord, and it can bring a lot of fear in us. But I pray in the name of Jesus that us, O oh Lord, as your children, O oh Father, us, O oh my Lord, that you have revealed yourself to us, O oh God, that you will know that, O oh Lord, the endless riches, the boundless riches are found in you. 
and that we will continue to trust in you. Oh, thank you, Father. Lord, we depend on you, O oh God. Just as you said, oh, my Father, when you were teaching us, oh, Lord, how to pray, that, Lord, we shall ask, oh, my Father, from you even for our daily bread, how I pray in the name of Jesus, that no family, oh, Lord, is going hungry, oh, God, that no family, oh, my Father, is staying without food, oh, God. And I pray in Jesus' name, in your miraculous way, oh, God, that you shall supply in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you. I pray that, Lord, those shall open, oh, my Father. I pray that, oh, my God, those will open, oh, my Father. Where, Lord, there has been pain, oh, my God, because of need, Father. How I pray in the name of Jesus that, Lord, you shall supply. Oh, Father, I thank you. I thank you, Lord, I thank you. And I pray that, Lord, you may open our eyes, oh, God. Sometimes we are not able to see, oh my Father, these boundless riches because of the things that surround us, oh my God, they sound to be louder. But Lord, I pray this evening in Jesus' name that, Lord, our spiritual eyes, oh Lord, will be opened, oh my Father, to see, oh God, the boundless riches that are available in you in the name of Jesus. Father, have mercy on us, oh God. How I pray, oh God, that you will strengthen us and help us, oh Lord. And provide, O oh Lord, every need, O oh God, that we have in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. And Lord, as we pray, O oh my Father, for provision for, our, for ourselves, O oh my Lord, I also pray that, O oh God, you will provide for us more, O oh my God, so that we are able, O oh Lord, to be, to be a blessing, O oh Lord, even to another family, to be a blessing, O oh my Father, even to other families, O oh God. This is my prayer this evening, that, Lord, you shall supply, O oh my Father, this endless riches, O oh God, to us. In the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, oh my Father, for the riches that are found in you. Thank you, oh my God, for revealing, oh Lord, yourself to us, oh Lord, that we can come to you any time, oh Lord, and ask, oh my Father, from you. Because, Lord, everything that we need, oh Lord, can be found in you. And this is our confidence this evening, that we have what we pray for because we are praying in your name, Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Father, we receive every blessing that, Lord, you have for us. We receive everything that, Lord, you have prepared for us this evening. And we thank you for the session that, Lord, we have had, oh, my Father, in this place, just to bring our needs, oh, Lord, before you, because, Lord, you are the only one that is able to answer our prayers. And as we pray, oh, Lord, we believe that, oh, God, oh, things are going to change in that family. Things are going to change in that life, oh, God. Things are going to change, oh my Lord. School fees are going to be supplied. I thank you because, oh my Father, food, oh Lord, is going to be supplied. I thank you, Lord, because rent is going to be supplied in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, because that loan is paid in Jesus' name. And that, Lord, your children are going to be stress-free, oh my Father, from the issues of supply. Because, Lord, we have these endless riches. We thank you and we bless your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. 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 Thank you so much for, for, for being with us. And uh, I just want to encourage us that as, 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 as we, 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 we wind up this session of prayer, that you will believe God. Because boundless riches are found in Christ. And it is my prayer that you will remain in the Lord. We will focus our minds and our hearts to the Lord because that is where we can find the boundless riches. I want to pray for, for us even as we bring this session to a closure and we will continue praying even tomorrow morning just log in in the morning devotion from, devotion from 6 to from 6 a.m. in the morning. Let's just continue praying because boundless riches are found in Christ alone. Father in the name of Jesus I thank you so much for this brother, thank you for this sister that has been able to join us this evening and how I pray that, O oh Lord, even as we spend this evening, that, Lord, you shall bless each and every one of us and you will help us, O oh my Lord, to plug in into these endless riches that are found in you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen. Amen. God bless you and have an, a wonderful evening. Sante, Sante, Sante.